Hello there, it's Diorama Don here again, uh, and in this episode uh, we'll be looking at making very easy paths and curbs. Um, whatever building you're making, you probably need some kind of uh, pavement and curb stepping down onto a road system. Uh, so I use 3mm card which in 135 scale is about uh, 100 millimeters or four inches which is <laughs> which is about the right size for of a low curb and so we're, 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 we're not too far off uh, the right uh, scale with three millimeters so mark out whatever paving stones you have in mind Obviously, this is very subjective. Um, they could be cracked, they could be broken, they can be uh, um, a large size, small size. But generally speaking, paving slabs look a little bit like that. So uh, that's what we've gone for. And there's a curve as well on the, uh, on the end. So once you've marked it out with a pencil, then on these inside lines, uh, cut with a sharp knife well not cut so much as score so just probably halfway through without cutting all the way through also without cutting your finger off cut those inside lines okay then we need the line between the pavement and the curb as well. A little more tricky because we've got this uh, this bend, can you see? Let me go. <laughs> so again, just a, a score along those lines. And this line here. Then for the curve, you'll have to do freehand, or I will have to do freehand. So, uh, just a light cut to start. Like that. And then a little bit deeper. Now, once we've got those, that's it. So we've got a, a cut along the the uh, gap between the path and the curb and also the curb and the building. So then what we need to do is just below the line so that it's I've done this in other videos but uh, I thought I'd do a special video just to uh, show you the paths alone. Um, just below the line, about a sixteenth of an inch, about three or four millimetres below the edge of the line, and cut at an angle. You need a very short blade. A long blade is, is going to be more difficult to cut the, cut the angle. But uh, moving your, your blade to 45 degrees, then cut from the building to the curb stone and then turn it round and do the same thing again and you should have that it should be a triangular piece of uh, cardboard with uh, pencil mark down the middle of one side uh, so you've got that gap there okay now the thing is <laughs> you need you need to do it for every single line that you've drawn so all the way down there and all the way around there and then uh, when you do the curb you can see okay just do that short up there and shortcut there take that out 
on that and then just nick that out. Uh, can you see? So it's like that. And then on the edge, it's cut down all the way through. Um, don't worry about how wide or how big this gap is. If you make it just a bit too wide, it doesn't matter because we're going to not fill it in, but we're going to go over with filler when it's all done. So although it might look a bit drastic with all these grooves all the way uh, along the path, uh, it, it won't be quite so bad when, when we put a little bit of filler on the top. Okay, so I will cut all of these lines out uh, and then I'll come back and I'll show you what I mean. Okay, so I've cut out all those grooves for the, uh, the pavement, or the, the sidewalk, sorry, sidewalk pavement and the curb stones. And I took that little nick, nick out of each one so that uh, it goes all the way down to the floor. Um, I, I made each paving stone half an inch, uh, 12 millimetres by three quarters of an inch, uh, 17, 18 millimetres, in case you're wondering. So what we do now is with a bit of uh, wool filler and a small amount of water added, I'll just uh, give a coating of this. So you can see already it's, it's filling those gaps in. They're not quite so prevalent. I don't know if you can hear that helicopter overhead. So this will give a basis for however we want to finish the uh, pavement sidewalk. We can either paint it or um, grout it, which is what I shall do. This will take about 10 minutes to dry, that's all. Okay, just got enough. There we are. In fact, it's, it's filling the uh, gaps a little too much. We can take a bit, bit out, We're losing the definition just slightly. Okay, there we are. So coating of uh, wall filler, well, I use wall filler with a little bit of water. I'll wait for this to dry and then put a coat of I don't know, grey paint or maybe a, a grey uh, grout and then uh, just dab, dab it off with a, a damp sponge just to give it a, a pavementy look to it. Okay, so I'll finish off and I'll be back in one moment. Okay, so our filler is dry now. So our filler is dry now. Um, all I need to do now is put this uh, grey grout, just uh, grey grout powder with a little bit of water and uh, go over the whole thing with this. I know it looks a bit dark at the moment but it will dry much more a much more lighter colour. to be quick because it dries extremely quickly. There we go. Sit. And then with a damp sponge bring out the detail again. <clears throat> it really is 
drying very quickly. Ah, oh, there we are. So we can see the slabs coming through. <coughs> doesn't need to be uniform but something like that looks a mess I know <laughs> but when that's dry that, uh, that will be okay I hope okay I'll leave it at that uh, leave that to dry, It'll only take half an hour or so, and I'll show you the end result of uh, our pavement sidewalk. So there we are, all finished. Um, of course, the finish is subjective again, it's up to you how you want to finish it, but it's, it's the principle of how I mark out the uh, individual st um, pave, paving slabs and curb stones. It just is so much easier than doing them all individually, I find anyway. <clears throat> so it's just an idea if you've uh, got a, a path or um, uh, paving, uh, some kind of paving to, to do in front of a, a building. So okay I'll leave you with that. Thank you very much for watching the video. Please subscribe, click that button and uh, I'll inform you when uh, when new videos come along. In the meantime, have a go yourself. Give it a go. And uh, I wish you the very best of luck. Don't cut your fingers off. And uh, happy modelling. <laughs>